Today, we're going to talk about how to get tons of historical stock prices and fundamental stock data directly into your Google Sheet without any coding or even using formulas. We'll be using the free Google Sheets add-on by EODHD, one of the most popular financial data providers. Let's start by installing the EODHD add-on for Google Sheets. First, go to the Google Workspace Marketplace to find it. Here it is. Click Install, grant all necessary permissions, and wait a few seconds for the installation to complete. Now, return to Google Sheets, and the new add-on should appear in the right sidebar. Let's reload the page. There it is. Great. Let's launch it. You will start on the tutorial page where you can enter your API key. The key is required to access financial data. By default, a demo key is provided, which grants access to data for a limited number of tickers. I will log in to EODHD.com to copy my API key. The key or token is generated after a free or paid subscription. The data available to me is related to my subscription plan and of API key. After a few seconds, the key will be validated, and I will have access to the data available under my EODHD subscription. Let's go and make some requests. First on the list are end-of-day historical prices for stocks, cryptocurrencies, currencies, and ETFs. Search for ticker or company name. I'll go with Apple stock. Let's set the date range. Keep in mind that free users have access to only one year of historical data. As you can see, I don't need to use any formulas to retrieve the data in this add-on. That's why it's so easy to use. I'll build a chart as well, along with the price numbers. Great, Apple prices are here, including the close price adjusted to splits and dividends. Let's try intraday prices next. By the way, you can search by ticker or company name here. I'll go with Apple again, which is available with demo P as well. I'm going with five minute granularity interval and setting the date range. For the US one minute interval data, only NYSE and NASDAQ tickers are supported. For Forex and crypto tickers, we have one minute intervals of trading data from 2009. For most other tickers, we have five minute and one hour intervals from October 2020. Okay, let's see what we've got. Cool, the numbers are here. Go to the eodhd.com documentation to see which tickers are available in demo mode and the differences between free and paid plans. And I'm moving to fundamental stock data. You can select multiple tickers in a single request. A new sheet will be created for each ticker. I'm adding Microsoft as the second one. Our search shows only tickers for which we have available data. We're talking about worldwide market coverage. Let's see what we've got for Apple. General company details, financial highlights and key metrics, market valuation metrics, shareholder and ownership data, and much, much more. See the full list of available data for stocks on our website. I'm now on the settings page of the add-on where I can see what data is available to me. It's important to mention that each request consumes API calls, our internal currency for retrieving data. For example, a fundamental data request consumes 10 calls. API calls have daily limits, which vary between free and paid plans. Okay, let's see what else the add-on can offer. Let's retrieve live data for a few stocks. Keep in mind that the data feed has a 20 minute delay. Here, I can retrieve multiple tickers simultaneously. The API call consumption for live data is one API call per ticker. Let me add a few more tickers. Let's add Apple. 
and NVIDIA. I'm going to retrieve all of them on one sheet. Let's see all possible data fields. Okay, we are good to go. Let's activate the feed for our stream of three tickers. Remember that Google limits live streams to six minutes. After that, the process will stop and you'll need to restart the feed if necessary to continue receiving updated data. Next is the Screener tool, a powerful filter that helps find companies based on complex criteria. I quickly build something here. Each request for Screener consumes five API calls. Let's choose energy sector, oil and gas industry. You can apply multiple filters here as additional criteria. I'm adding an extra filter for market capitalization above 100 million. Let's see what we've got. Nice. This is our list of companies collected from worldwide exchanges. Of course, I could have narrowed it down to a single exchange. Moving on to technical indicators, there are quite a few here. I'll click through a few just to show you how they work. By the way, choose a time period long enough to generate data. A narrow span might result in an error if no data is available for some indicators. Okay, these are prices adjusted to splits. And this is the average trading volume. By the way, just a reminder that EDHD offers live support by a chat on the website. If you encounter a bug or notice any data inconsistencies, feel free to reach out to the support team. Last on the list is bulk or multiple data retrieval for end of day and fundamental data. Here, you can retrieve data for an entire exchange or a custom list of tickers. Keep in mind that such requests consume more API calls and take longer to process, especially for a whole exchange. So, be patient. The bulk fundamental data feature is not available on our standard plans. Contact our support team to activate it. Okay, that's the end of the EODHD add-on tour. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments or contact EODHD support.